Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. And this challenge is being done after infants came out. We also have daily quests that may kill our sub. And the Munch family is actually up to 12 babies now. So we have a little bit of catching up to do. Now our youngest is Dix or Dees. However, I like to say it how it's spelled versus the number that he was named after. And he needs to work on some of his communication, thinking, imagination, and movement. But right now he's trying to go get a bath from mom. And then we have Nina who is working on her mind and body aspiration. So I'm trying to keep her top needs right now. And then Octavian is doing his homework. I don't think that will count though, because it's extra credit. And then we have Seven who is jogging. Hopefully she doesn't die or run into Greg. And then there's Sesto who is just doing some random things, trying to get his aspirational points or satisfaction points and he actually is almost ready to move out if we can get 3,000 satisfaction points we currently have 815 and then we also need to get his manners into the bad manners range which means a lot of burping and farting so for the quest that we have to do today, let's spin the wheel and see what we get. Hire a scheduled maid. May purchase satisfaction reward trait of free services if we can afford it. Okay, why are you showing needs flashcards? Let's go ask for a bath again. Maybe this bathtub is not accessible. I purchased a new bathtub because the one tile CC bathtub I had it doesn't seem to work on the slot very well since it's off the grid. And I turned the utility usage off for it, but it seems like it's just not working. No, she for some reason says she can't get there. All right, why not? Let's try and make this two tiles again. Okay, now I think it's working. It seems that the bathtubs are just kind of glitchy, even if I have one that it's full size and have utility on. So hopefully she can give him a bath now. Oh, Nina and Octavian are going to be difficult. Okay. I try to make sure that I always say yes to everything that happens because that's the only motivation that you have to keep everybody in a good mood. Okay, he also wants to win a game of chess. Oh good, Seven likes fitness. Oh, she's going to work. I forgot that she had work. Oh right, Seven is the workaholic. <laughs> okay, yeah, she has so many jobs. So I have to watch her schedule because if she misses work, she might lose her lifestyle. So she did get the workaholic lifestyle as a teen, but the only way that I was able to do that for her is to basically take on all of the different work that she has to do and yeah she has to also do odd jobs so she's a little ways from being ready to move out okay we already have the free services trait so i'm just going to go ahead and schedule the maid and basically we'll have a scheduled maid from now on oh nina completed her aspiration i guess she didn't have a negative need moodlet okay so what else do we need to do for her? She needs to have an A in school, which she has, and she has high confidence. So really I need Octavian to finish his. Oh, he actually got credit for the homework and now he just needs to craft three emotional potions. And the reason why I need Octavian to finish his first is because he is older. So I want to avoid having them out of order Okay, Henrietta, come out of there, please. I need to hatch that egg anyway. Well, happy birthday, Octavian. Octavian is going to be a dog lover. And we're going to have the master maker aspiration. Oh, Octavian is a werewolf, so we get werewolf abilities, yay. He's actually a dormant wolf, so... I'm not sure why he's transformed. 
All right, now it's Nina's turn. Happy birthday, Nina. Nina is going to be erratic and her aspiration is Zen Guru. Okay, oh, no, and baby. that's our Nina. So we get to spin the winning wheel for hiring a maid. And what are we going to get? 68%. And 68% of 193,300 is another 131,444 for a total of 324,744. Now for our next quest, what are we going to be doing today? Free dirt patches from Simazon arrive instantly with no problems. Cover your lot in dirt patches. Plant and maintain oversized crops in all patches. No reward until they're harvestable. This is a free one. I don't think I've seen this one before. <laughs> so what is the definition of cover your lot in dirt patches? That one's a toughie. I guess it means cover all the free space. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn move objects off. And then I'm going to see every place where I can put a dirt patch. And I know it says no reward until they're harvestable, but I guess that means that we don't have to do a different quest until this one is over. I'm going to interpret it as that. And we're just going to buy as many dirt patches as we can, as long as I can place them with move objects on. This is still going to be a lot. Thankfully, we still have some snow patches. Those are preventing me from putting as many dirt patches as I would otherwise be able to put. And I'm just going to go down in a row like this and not necessarily optimize where I can put these. Okay, we ended up with a lot of dirt patches. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. Okay, the cheapest seeds are lettuce, but do I really want to plant all of these as lettuce? I'm going to say yes, because even though watermelon and other things probably are good for food, um, this is going to cost a lot of money. And I'm going to say, because I know there is a bug or a quirk, that if I plant something here and it doesn't stick, in other words, it goes into my household inventory for whatever reason, because I have move objects off, then I'm going to say that I don't have to plant that one. Because like I said, this is going to suck as it is. And we should probably hire a gardener. Although I think that would be against the spirit of this. So no, I'm not going to hire a gardener. I'm just going to have everybody basically try to take care of them. This is going to take forever, but that's just how it is. Um, what is Greg doing here? And why are you having a werewolf brawl? Okay. I don't know who brought Greg over here. You don't have transformation mastery, Octavian. How can you have a brawl? Oh well. And he's transforming. Okay, Paris has gone into labor. So we can finally have the next child. Are we going to get a boy or a girl? I think we also have room for twins. But I don't have anything increasing the likelihood of twins. So hopefully just one baby. It's a boy. And we're going to call him Ben. Just one baby. And I don't know why Paris is in her swimsuit. Well, that's what they look like planted. It didn't take too long to plant them all. Now we just have to wait for them to be harvestable. So Monday's over. We didn't get any reward today, but we don't have to draw another challenge. And happy birthday, Dix. Blow out your candles. Okay, and Dix is going to be a dog lover. And for the aspiration, we are going to randomly select one. And we get to spin the first wheel to determine the aspiration because there isn't an in-way game to do that. 
All right, we're going to do the social aspiration. So he's going to be a social butterfly. Then we get to determine what character trait we're going to earn with Dix. He's going to be good mannered. Then I have a reward trait that is based on needs. He needs to get the satisfaction points in order to earn this. It's going to be free services. And then he needs to earn two traits that are not based on needs. And one of them is going to be professional slacker. And then the other one is going to be morning sim. Now, everyone actually has to have a job either as a child or a teen. And Dix is going to be doing odd jobs, just like Seven. We've had odd jobs a lot. And then he has to have a random fear. And this fear cannot be removed. Or if it is removed, we have to add it back. Fear of failing after school activities. Then there is the lifestyle that Dix has to earn. And we're going to go with close knit. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, good. People person, which is really easy. Close knit is terrible because basically you can only have four friends or less. And that's really hard when you have a household of eight Sims. And we're going to go ahead and roll for his teen aspiration because it's just easier to get all these roles out of the way right away. And he's going to be working on the soulmate aspiration. And then when he ages up to an adult, we will pick an aspiration category just so you can have an extra trait, basically. And he gets wellness. Okay, and these are the gender options that I roll for. So we will change his underlining gender if he gets less than five. No, we're not changing his gender. And then for the next roll, we change his clothing preference if it's less than 10. And no, we're not changing the clothing preference either. And this determines whether or not we change the pregnancy option or make him infertile. And it has to be less than 10. No, we're not doing that either. Okay, and then for sexual orientation, I have less than 50 means heterosexual. And then anything above 50 is a different one. Okay, so it looks like he's going to be straight. And then this is the option for matching his woohoo interest to his romance interests, which is most of the time, yes. Okay, so we're going to match the interests. And then I do one more roll to determine whether or not he has hearing aids or glasses. And this is less than 10, so no, no hearing aid. And then this is the one for glasses. Glasses and hearing aid are separate. Now, I know these percentages are not really realistic, but it's just the numbers that I picked. And no, he's not going to have glasses either. Okay. Okay. And the last thing that I do is that I actually come in here and randomize their likes. So he likes yellow, likes kids radio music, dislikes idealist sims likes malicious interactions, and dislikes cross-stitch. So I use that mainly for the color of the kids in order to determine what outfits they will wear. So he likes yellow, so I'll change a lot of his outfits to be yellow. And there you have it. There's some yellow outfits, kind of mustard and lime yellow or fluorescent yellow. And really, I don't spend too much effort on the child outfits because eventually they're going to be a teenager and when they become a teenager that's when they get their permanent outfit because I don't redo them after they become an adult. Okay and we're good friends with Vin. That means we can age Vin up. We already have everything that we need in here to take care of an infant. Happy birthday Vin! And Vin is going to be calm. Oh my, I have never seen so many plants need so much work. This is ridiculous. Everybody has to be working on these plants. <laughs> we maxed the gardening skill though. Okay, I have to hire a gardener. I don't even think he'll show up today if I hire him though. Well, at least Christopher is here helping me, which is kind of weird. 
Well, my gardener did show up. Welcome to the team. Oh, and we have an early midlife crisis. Paris, you don't have time for a midlife crisis. You are a 100 baby mama. Um, I don't see anything. Is it mm -hmm. under something else? Normally it's here. Okay, don't think she gets it until she gets this contemplate life action over with. So I'm going to have her do that so that I can figure out what she needs to do to get over her midlife crisis. All right, so we're working on our next baby daddy, and it might be Mark Lewis. So it seems like he's taken our romance advances pretty well. Okay, Paris is eating for two, but Nina is transforming. Okay, so we finally got the midlife crisis thing and we have a desire for success. Reach level two in the business career? No, she's not joining the business career. She can hire a professional service, which she's already done three times because we had to. I mean, look at all these plants. How are we going to take care of them if we don't hire professional services? We have a maid, a gardener, a butler, and a ranch hand. And I don't know if it's enough. Let's see if Sesto will give us some werewolf sympathy. Then we can make our butler not pass out when there's werewolves around. Okay. And yeah, we have a werewolf, Nina. Werewolf ally. These Sims have a special kinship with werewolves and aren't as alarmed by their werewolf antics. All right. So that is actually going to be really helpful. Okay, Grim is here to take one of my chickens. Who is it? No, don't eat the cake. Feed him. Oh, that's not helpful. And now she dislikes gardening. Oh, no, that's not her. That's Seven. Okay. Well, Seven is very uncomfortable right now, so I'm going to send her to bed. I still don't know why Grim is here. Oh, Henrietta. Okay. Grim. Stop getting stuck. Well, at least I can get rid of her fear right away. That was easy. Okay, I've never had this happen to me before, but these pictures of the dads are getting deleted. So this was BJ Lombardo, who was Octavian and Nina's parent or father, and it's completely black. If I go to Octavian and look at his family tree, all he has is Paris for a mother. He has no father. And it looks like Paris's father as well is not in the game anymore. And I thought that if the game culled the ghosts, that it wouldn't disrupt the family tree. It looks like that is not the case anymore. So what I might do then is cull the ghosts myself, which I kind of need a gravestone for that. Okay, we have rollover to back with Ven. So we just need to roll over onto his tummy and he could potentially do that by himself. I don't know why everyone keeps coming into my house. These people have not been invited, and I have the neighborhood action plan for, yeah, sharing is caring, and I'm sorry, Rory, that whatever you wanted to steal was not within your reach. I don't know what it is about this room, but they come in, in this room to steal something, and then they can't reach it. And I keep losing my chairs. I want to lock this so that no one can get in, but then the employees can't get in, and so it's a little bit annoying. Maybe I should lock out the butler and the ranch hand too, because to be honest, I don't want them inside my house. I only want them to take care of the garden. Oh, my bookshelf is gone. I didn't notice that until just now. Great. Now, technically, I don't have a bed for the butler. I think she's going to go sleep in the tent, which is just fine. I mean, I have tents out here. You can sleep in there. Okay, Seven's emotional control is in range. I think the only thing we need to do, oh, we need to go to a gym venue. Uh, 
that kind of sucks. I have been putting that off just because it's annoying to take everybody with us and she has to go to a gym. And then we also need to get her seldom sleepy and get her odd jobs up to five star. And she has work in six hours. So, okay, well, just use the bathroom and then we'll work on some fun maybe because she needs to have some fun. Okay, we're going to work on our sitting because if Ben can age up to a toddler by the time the baby is born, that's always good. Why are you going to put him down again? Oh, this is so annoying. Infants. All right, so we need to sit up. We need to stand up. And then I think we have a couple more fine motor skills to get and a couple more communication ones to get. And why am I looking at Paris? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so creep, we don't care about. We, he doesn't need to creep. He doesn't need to crawl. He just needs to sit and stand. And then social, he needs to learn to laugh and eventually babble. Babble is the last one that he needs for that. And then fine motor, he needs to be able to have pincer grasp. And it's okay to have an infant and a baby at the same time, but I really do not want two infants. Oh, look, it's zero. We have zero as a ghost right now. And she's going in my tent. Okay. All right, we'll put the baby to sleep because it looks like you are probably getting tired right now. Paris, why did you pick him up? Okay, he needs to sit up or at least do something. Oh, we're getting the sit-up milestone. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> he he didn't get it while he was actually practicing. He got it after she put him down on the play mat for some reason. All right. Well, um, we need to take you back inside because I think you need to go to sleep. Stop wandering around. All right. All the other milestones he can actually get by himself. It just takes some time. And we have about 17 days left with Paris. So it takes a long time for them to age up, even though I do have pregnancy aging on. So basically, she's still aging, even though she's pregnant. And as soon as she becomes an elder, she if she's still pregnant, that pregnancy will still be okay. But she will need to basically... Um, find a new matriarch and that will be the last pregnancy that she has but then we get to re-roll everything and maybe we won't end up with all of this lot challenges and all of this uh tiny house we might not have a tiny house anymore oh my chess table's gone i have to buy a new chess table too oh good the tub is working this tub is so cute it's just a little one tile tub or at least you can almost fit it in one tile and it only allows infants toddlers and dogs okay finally i'm able to ask the birds for gardening help because spraying for bugs is what takes the longest oh and the birds just got rid of every single bug in this entire garden well that's easy Okay, we're here at the gym so that Seven can get her workout at a gym venue done, and it's already done. So we can go back as soon as Ven completes his milestone, because he's actually starting to stand. I put some chairs outside so he could stand up. Oh, hi, Trinity. How are you? All right, so Ven has reached the stand-up milestone, and everybody claps. Okay, now we have pincer grasp. So he did not like the peas. Do you like lemon? No. Okay, well, you don't have to eat more food. We'll take you out. Well, we're almost there with Sesto. I, he wants to launch or upgrade a rocket five times. And unfortunately, I got rid of the rocket ship and completely forgot that he wanted to do that. So I'm not sure if we should build another one. Another issue is that I really don't have room for it anymore due to all of these plots of dirt. I mean, I could put it on top of it, I guess, but I think that's kind of cheaty. So I'm not going to get the rocket ship until after we harvest all those plants. 
Oh, Ben got the Babel Milestone. Okay, do I have my cake still? Because, let's see, we have fine motor pincer grass, gross motor stand and sit, and then social babble. Those are the requirements. And, of course, our... Oh, no, there's our cake. Happy birthday, Ben! Okay, and Ben is going to be angelic. There's no extra rolls we need to do for the toddler, so the toddler is a toddler. And since you're angelic, you need to learn how to use the potty. Do not eat that cake. Oh no, Richie is running away. Did you not get enough attention? Yeah, sorry Richie, I sometimes lose track of the animals. There he goes. Alright, I think we have everything harvested. Oh, we can get rid of these dirt patches finally. And now it's time to spin the wheel and see what we win. Oh, thank God. Okay, so 94%. That was worth it then. I was afraid it was going to be a low percentage and completely not worth it. So 94% of 320,328 is 301,108 simoleons for a total of 621,438 simoleons. All right, so I'm not going to bother rolling right now for the next quest because it would be cheaty because basically it's not time yet. So let me give you something to eat and then you can go to sleep. Why are you eating fish? You are vegetarian. I hate it when he does that. I did not tell him to eat fish. Okay, let's see if I can get the butler to help us build. Oh, Paris has gone into labor. And let's see if we're going to get a boy or a girl. I know Paris is about to transform, but hey, we are going to have the next baby. And it's a girl. And this is baby number 12. So her name is going to be... Doza. Hello, little Doza. You're my next child. Now, technically, we have a free household slot. I don't think that that is supposed to be the way it is. Oh, and we need to figure out what's wrong with the baby. And Paris is about to transform. So we'll see if we can regain control, hopefully. At least we did make sure the baby was fed before we did this. Okay, good. She's able to regain control. So that basically resets our rage meter, which is nice. Okay, and it is midnight. So we should find out what our next quest is going to be. So we spin the wheel and we are going to buy a retail store and get five sales. All items sold must be restocked and be open for at least eight hours. Well, that's an interesting proposition. I think... I think what we might do is put our collection up for sale in a retail store. And we have to be open for eight hours on a Saturday when everyone is going to be home. Oh, that's just lovely. All right, well, let's send everyone to bed that can go to bed. Okay, apparently Nina doesn't like sleeping during the night. I didn't realize that. And she's been gaining so much fury because of it. It's funny uh, because they have the werewolf ally whenever the rampaging werewolves come around. They basically just put their hand in their face and don't get scared. No, oh, no chatting with Paris. Paris, why are you chatting? You should be building that rocket. Okay, Paris is now good friends with Doza. So happy birthday, Doza. Yeah, I aged them up quick. And Doza is going to be wiggly. I just don't see a reason to keep them as a newborn. So once Paris becomes good friends with them, they are allowed to age up. And then I just have to deal with the infant. Because you can't go anywhere with a newborn. So you can't sit around for an entire day or two while you wait for their birthday. So here we are in the Mad Hatter's Toy Store by Lucky Heather. I got this off of the gallery and it's so cute. I just didn't feel like building a whole retail store myself. So we did spend quite a bit of money on this. 
Okay, it's 8 a.m. and we're opening, so we have to stay open until at least 4 p.m. And, of course, the neighborhood action plan of sharing is caring is activated. And I just saw you steal something, Atticus. And we have at least one sale. Oh, two sales. And there's sale number three. And sale number four. We just need one more and we'll be set for the day. Although we do have to stay open for eight hours regardless of how many items we sell and how quickly. So Jackie found a ring in Una's bag. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Um, say yes, of course. I thought they were married, but maybe they were just dating. Hey, Octavian, we're having a little get-together before prom. Want to join? Um, generic Mad Hatter's Toy Store. It's not generic. It's a retail, and I'm here. Well, maybe we do the get-together before prom. We will... Now it's only 3 p.m. I can't do it. Okay, I have to wait until at least 4 p.m. to close the store. And I don't know if it will take me somewhere else. It probably will. I really want to go to prom one of these times, but I think it doesn't work because I didn't have anyone who was currently in school. Ah, I see why it said generic, because someone stole my cash register. Okay, actually someone stole the counter the cash register was on. We've been open for eight hours, so now we can close. Well, it's the end of the week, and the only thing that we have left to do is to roll for our reward for having the retail store open. So, what are we going to get? 97%? Well, that would have been bad if we didn't do this challenge. I was considering not doing it because the retail store is just so much investment. I spent like 200000 on that or maybe 150000 something like that. So that's why I only have 477400 but 97% of that is 463078 for a total of 940478 simoleons. So we almost have a million simoleons. That's just crazy. Well, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.